Carly Finzegera and welcome back to my channel. Guys, I have not filmed a sit down video in, it might be a year, months, forever? No, it hasn't been a year. It hasn't been a year, but it feels like forever. I, mm, mm. I missed it. So it is back to school season. If you're not already back to school, you'll be going back to school soon. You either hate it or you love it. I feel like most people hate it now. And with the coming of back to school season, all of my online school videos are getting all the hype. Um, people start rewatching them and I get a whole bunch of more online school related questions, especially around this time of year. By far, the biggest question I get on every video ever made Ever. How do I convince my parents to let me do online school? So I'm going to make an entire video on this one question because I have a very detailed answer and I really want you guys to understand uh, all that I have to say. Also, I just don't want to answer it a million and two times so I can make this video so if I get a question I can just direct them to this video here. So welcome! Hey! You have a question. So first I want to preface this by saying when I wanted to do online school, my mom was pretty quick to hop on. It was really just uh, me and my mom trying to convince my dad. So it was a little bit easier for me. It wasn't just me against my parents um, trying to convince both of them. My mom was pretty on board. I did have to drop some hints and, you know, talk with her a little bit, but she was pretty quick to say, yes, I think this is for you. I think we should try to convince your dad. And my dad was really, really stern with it. He was the one that really took a lot of convincing, and so I have a good experience with kind of both sides of it. So I have a list of things that I'm going to share with you all. <laughs> Let's go. Also, I know I'm about to fix my hair 50 million times, so if every shot my hair looks different, that's why I apologize. I Sorry, not sorry, actually. Who cares? I'm owning it. This is the most important thing. I'm going to start off with it. We're already moving the hair. What are you doing? Before going to your parents, figure out overall why do you want to do online school? You need to have a reason and you need to have a motivation or else you're not going to want to wake up and do school every day. For me, that's acting. I need to do online school so I have a flexible schedule so I can pursue training and shows and invest more of my time into my passion, which is acting. For you, that could be some sport. That could be um, you're dealing with bouts of social anxiety and depression associated with going to school every day. But you need a reason why you're doing online school. You need one thing that's going to be your driving point across your entire argument that all leads back to this is why I need online school. Think of the different benefits of online school. Which one would benefit you the most? What different aspects of it would you like? Which ones do you need? And make it clear to your parents why. Because if they don't get a sense of why, they're not gonna let you do it. They're just like, you don't, I don't understand. Okay, now I'm just gonna go down the list. I'd say second most important thing is to address your parents' concerns. They have concerns and they are legitimate. They're looking out for you, they love you, and they care for you. So listen to what they have to say. I'd say before you go and talk to your parents, make sure that you have gathered adequate uh, research and info that you can hand to them so that they can, uh, if they have any questions that you can answer, they know where to look, they know where to go, they have the resources and the information to answer their questions, or, you know, better yet, make sure that you have the info and research to answer their questions. So just FYI, if you're interested in Connections Academy, which is the school I go to, I go to Texas Connections Academy, they have connections around most of the states and they have an international branch um, that I don't know much about though, that I've heard. I actually don't even know if that's true. Someone just told me in the comments so that could, that's all hearsay, I don't know. But Connections does have a pamphlet that you can order for free. They send it to your door and it has like all the information on how to start and what the benefits are and all their classes, which is really cool because I that, that's what really got me excited is looking at all their classes that they offer. Um, and that was really helpful. We brought that to the first meeting um, with my dad to talk to him about it and uh, we let him keep it and we ordered another one for ourselves. And so looking to see if you're not in Connections, if your school has something like that or like a website or something um, that you can direct your parents do. One of the first questions my dad asked me was, what are you going to be doing every day? So, in preparation for your parents asking you this, make a schedule. Make a plan of what you see yourself doing every day. Of course, this is probably going to change. It's probably not going to be exactly what you think. And it doesn't have to be that detailed, like 7.15, I wake up, 7.30, I brush my teeth. It can be somewhat varied. Just make a generalized plan and idea of your ideal school week and school month. Um, this will really help your parents see this actually happen 
happening and see your commitment to it. Next, another thing to bring up is your safety. Uh, parents are always concerned for the safety of their children. You can bring up that they will always know where you are because you'll be at home in the safety of your home, um, not out. Uh, at school where there can be dangerous influences, drugs and alcohol and bullies, active shooters, dare I say, uh, you know, you're in your home, which can feel safer for a parent to know that their child, you know, is secure. My next thing, as soon as you think you might want to do online school, start dropping hints because you need to take time to tell your parents. A lot of, especially like, um, baby boomer generation, if your parents are in that, Gen X generation, uh, which I think my mom is in, they just need more time for change, um, as most humans do. Humans fear change. It's an innate human flaw that we all have, so start dropping the hints early before you have your first ever conversation so it doesn't seem like it's coming out of nowhere. Maybe uh, you see an ad for it on TV and be like, hey, like that'd be really cool. Like I think I'd, I'd, I'd see myself doing something like that. Maybe you bring up how the schedule of schooling is not benefiting you anymore. Maybe you bring up how you wish you didn't have as much homework at night so you could spend time with your family. You could have dinners. Maybe you bring up how that a passion that you have like a sports or dance, whatever it may be, uh, you wish you had more time to pursue that professionally. Start those uh, along the way so then it's not a surprise and your parents have already been kind of open to the idea of it and they heard you so that you can have a, a bigger timeline. It took my dad about nine months to go from absolutely not to okay, let's try it. So keep that in mind. My next biggest thing when it comes to convincing your parents is to make sure that you are doing something outside of school. One of the biggest concerns that parents will have is what about your social life? Are you gonna miss things like prom, like homecoming, football games, pep rallies, you know, the general school spirit? Because online school ain't got none of that. Just, you know, <laughs> letting you know. Not putting any sugar on this coat. There's nothing, there's nothing of that. You're, you're by yourself, you're in your room, by yourself. So you need to make sure you're getting out of your house or you will go crazy, just letting you know. So for me, I'm out of my house every day. I'm always doing things, I am out in my community, I am doing what I love, and that made it a lot easier for my dad to see that I am not going to miss that social interaction. Especially because I'm an extrovert, I get energy from people, I don't like being alone, so I make sure I keep it to a minimum. Make sure you're doing something, whether it be dance or your sports, I've said all these things all the time, a book club, YouTube, something that just gets you connected with other people so that your parents aren't concerned about you missing the social aspect of school, which is very, very important to your development as a teen as a human, making sure that you're building up your emotional intelligence and building on social cues, social interactions, so you're not an awkward human. One thing you could propose to your parents, which worked for me, which is kind of the final seal of approval with my dad, was suggesting to start as a temporary experiment. So with my school, with Texas Connections Academy, it is considered a public school. So just like you would enroll in your local high school, I'm enrolled in this online school, which is a public school. It's recognized by the state as a public school. My GPA is registered the same, class rank is registered the same. The courses are very, very on par with what students will be doing at my zoned high school. So it is relatively easy to transfer between the two. It's more easy to go from from online to brick and mortar just because there's usually not like a wait time you know you can just your zone there you can go so we proposed to my dad that we do the first semester and if I don't like it I go to my zoned high school and this was something that really worked with my dad he really liked the idea of an experiment and okay we don't have to commit for that long it's only one semester it ended up working really well and we continued throughout the rest of the year and up until now for those who don't know I am a junior in high school this year I'm starting my 11th year in school for those across the pond I wish forget that people outside of America don't use freshman sophomore junior senior like that's just like standard in my mind so they say like I'm in year 10 and I'm like oh it's so fancy. Another important thing to keep you in online school, to keep your parents on board, your parents have said yes, maybe you've decided to do the experiment one semester thing, keep your grades up as high as you can possibly get them to be because this is really going to convince your parents that this is valid and you're working hard and it's working for you. Now of course if it's not working for you, be honest with them, of course. But if you want it to work and if it is something that you are enjoying, make sure you're putting in that work. Okay, kind of a segue from grades into college, I want to say my dad was also concerned about my placement into college from an online school, if that would transfer, if that would work. Now, of course, I don't have actual experience with this yet, as I am a junior, I haven't applied to college yet, but one way that I was able to ease my dad of this worry was by providing him a list of all of the schools that people from my online high school have gone on 
to go study at. I showed him the college placement percentage, which I don't know off the top of my head for my school, but I researched, you know, college placement out of high school and showed him that people are able to go to big Ivy League colleges. It is a thing and uh, it kind of, you know, just affirmed like this is an actual school. I'm not just on some random website learning random numbers and letters. It's legitimate and that might help your parent as well. Lastly, I just want to say when you go to talk to your parents, make sure you are calm, collected, open to their concerns because this is something so different. This was not available in your parents' life. It's something new. They don't know about it. Again, fear the unknown and they just have your best interest in mind. So make sure you do as much research on the front end before you present it to them so you are very well educated. You can answer all their questions. Um, you can watch YouTube videos. You can watch some of my YouTube videos. <laughs> you can research your school's website, get a pamphlet, talk to other students that you know that are in the school. Just try to really be well well-rounded, well-known, ready to answer any question that they throw at you. Okay, those are all of my tips. If you guys have any questions, please comment them down below and if I get an excess amount or if I see a really popular one coming back, I will probably make a part two. But as of right now, I think I covered it all. So give this video a big thumbs up if you liked it and please be sure to subscribe for new videos whenever I post. I don't have a schedule right now because I'm so busy, but I try to upload every Saturday if I am able to. So turn those notifications on because YouTube doesn't tell you when I I post if you just subscribe you have to turn on notifications and then you have to press like every time like you want them all that you can have notifications and not have them on all the time I heard I don't know just turn on the bell join the fam. And now on to my weekly favorites. For those that are new here, every week I have a song of the week, which is a song I've been vibing out to. And I add it to my song of the week playlist, which is always linked down below. And I also say my top tuber, which is my favorite YouTuber of the week, someone that I have been binging and obsessed with. Ooh, my song of the week is going to be How Do You Sleep by Sam Smith. It is such a bop. Our top tuber this week is going to be, okay, I had to pick one. Okay, this is really difficult because I've been watching so many YouTubers lately. I've just recently subscribed to so many new people, but I'm going to say my top tuber this week is going to be Stephanie Harlow. I have never been into true crime. I don't like spooky, scary things, but somehow I ended up watching a video on Casey Anthony and the, I don't know how I fell down the rabbit hole and now I'm obsessed with it and I only like to watch her videos though because I like the way she describes it. I tried to watch a few other true crime ones and they freaked me out too much but I love how she explains everything and stuff and she's very calm and it's really cool. So she will be linked down below if you'd like to check her out. Be sure to follow me on all my socials they'll be linked down below as always. I hope you're having a great day and with that, see ya!